folks, JD here, and this drone today is being brought to us by Banggood. Thank you ever so much, folks, for sending me this. This is the Esheen Windmill E014. This is quite a good little drone. It is totally feature-packed. Right then, let's open this up and have a little look. On the top, we have our manual. We also have our drone directly underneath that. We have our transmitter, which we'll come back to in a minute, as well as our FPV boom. Underneath the plastic moulding, you then get three accessory bags, which we will look at in a little while. Right, so, lots of features on this particular drone. Let's have a little look at its design first, though. That's what it looks like. Look at that. That's nice. I love matte black. Matte black stands out to me a lot more than, than, than standard uh, shiny black. Um, and this really does stand out quite a lot. So if we have a little look at it from the side here. As you can see, we have four propellers, standard quad design. With these four propellers here, the tri-propellers, we have a ducted fan sort of affair, which also doubles up as propeller guards as well. Now, working our way from the front here, working our way to the back, we have our on and off button, LEDs, as well as a charging port directly in the back there as well. Now, to charge this, it'll take roughly 30 minutes. The battery is a standard 1S, 300 milliamp, 7 volt battery. Now, from that 30 minute charge, you will get 5 to 6 minutes of flight. Now, if I flip this over, you will see that we have a little camera on the underside. This is a vision system, an optical flow system. So what this does is this takes a photo every few seconds, analyzes the photo, and then to see how accurate this quadcopter is being held versus that photo. So if the photo looks different to what the camera is seeing, the quadcopter will adjust itself until it's near enough, damn it, the same that it sees from here than uh, the photo that it, it has processed. That in itself, is quite remarkable. I like that. I like optical flow systems. The majority of them work and work well. I think this is going to work very well also. Now, if you choose not to use the optical flow sensor, because this is going to use a little bit of battery, you can turn it off on the transmitter and you can use a standard barometer which is built in. But just to let you know, that is not going to be as accurate as using the optical flow sensor. To the front of the quadcopter, we have a 720p 1 megapixel camera just sitting right there. It's a fixed lens, unfortunately you can't move it around, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this is going to give you pretty good photos and pretty good video as well. Now, as this is so light, it's coming in at 37 grams, I believe. Let's double check that. That is the flying weight, by the way. That's with the battery, because the battery is all encased inside this part here. 30, 34 grams is its flying weight. So you're not going to want to take that out in any wind. And if you are flying indoors, because of that optical flow sensor, you're going to want your surrounding area where you're flying to be really well lit. Because if it isn't well lit, the optical sensor isn't going to be able to see properly and therefore isn't going to be able to correct the drone and make sure that it stays nice and level. Now, this drone is totally feature-packed and comes with so many features, including, but obviously not limited to, uh, flight path presetting, throw and go, so you can throw it and it'll just take off. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that in the video because I'm going to be on grass and I don't quite fancy it not working and it hitting, it hitting, it hitting wet grass. There's also 3D flips, there's multiple speed modes, there's hand tracking, so you can have your hand underneath it and the quadcopter will track with your hand, as well as a few other features as well. Now, that being said, this should be quite an interesting little flyer. So let's put this to one side. And let's have a little look at some of the other accessories included inside this package, including transmitter. So here it is, and I'm sure anybody that's flown a Parrot drone will be able to see that this is quite similar to the Parrot drone. And to be honest with you, I think that is brilliant. Parrot's um, transmitters are absolutely fantastic, and this is proven to be as good as. Now, what we have around here, we have our trim buttons, we have our standard uh, pitch control, then we have over here, we have our standard throttle and your controls as well. Then we have four buttons here. So we have automatic takeoff, automatic landing. We have optical sensor on and optical sensor off. Now, obviously, if you do turn it off, you are just going to be using the inbuilt barometer. If you leave it on, it's on as standard, then it is going to be held by, by the vision system. We also have 3D flips and speed control. So three speed controls and four directional 3D flips. So, all that being said, 
it's a pretty standard looking, a pretty standard functional transmitter, but nigh on most of the buttons work. Now when I say most, this one in the middle here isn't listed in the manual. I'll be giving it a try when I go out, but I don't know if it's going to do anything. And then of course we have our on and off button at the top. Now we need four AAA batteries, two in this side, two in this side, in order for this to function. This transmitter does not allow USB charging of any sort, so you are going to have to ensure the batteries are fully charged, shop bought or charged by yourself. Now the FPV boom just fits in ever so easily. So there's a little slit at the top here and there's a tiny little hole at the back here as well. Now what happens is your FPV boom fits in, clips in, like that and then around the other side you've got the little dowel that fits in that hole so then once you've roughly put it in you can just move it about a bit and then it should just click into place a little bit like that and then we have a standard spring inside here just to hold your phone when it's inside there now the app we are going to use with this is called Esheen Fly. Now I know what you're thinking, ah GD we've seen Esheen Fly time and time again. Yes you have, but this is a brand new Esheen Fly app uh, specifically built for this particular quadcopter. So let's have a quick little look at this app. And here it is. And straight from the off I'm sure you can see it looks a hell of a lot more professional. So we have the picture of the drone, we have a few other buttons on the outside. Enter the flight modes here. You also have picture and video where you can get access to. Now, as you can see from this video, I have already flown the drone, uh, but I'm not going to give anything anything away. You'll have to wait until the flight test video tomorrow. Then you can see there's a little manual here as well, should you want to have a little read. If you enter the flight modes, you get a really nice looking display. Now, this display is quite unique, I think. When the quadcopter is on, when you're using the transmitter and you use this app, when this app is bound to the quadcopter and detects that you're using the transmitter as well, this transmitter assembly on top of here will just disappear. So you haven't got to turn it off. These analog sticks just disappear totally, giving you full featured FPV view. An FPV view without these analog sticks. That is brilliant. I really, really like that. So a couple of buttons. Home, flight plan. Then you've got 3D flips, emergency stop, optical sensor on and off, you've got rotation of screen I think, and then we've got settings. A couple of settings here you can go through and you can have self shoot in mode, you can have them on secrecy mode, you can ha choose different flying settings if you want to from normal to master mode, and you can also choose the camera brightness and uh, contrast as well. A lot more features than what you, stand you get on a lot of standard apps. That's great. This little slider here, change from photo, to video, you'll know when you're on video because the button, the shutter button turns red. And then you've got a couple of other buttons at the bottom here as well, where you can see your media that you've, that you've, you've recorded. As well as this side, you've got automatic takeoff as well as, as well as speed as well. Sorry, took me a while to see what that was. So you've got all that set up around the outside. And down the bottom here, you've got your drone's battery. You've got the Wi-Fi signal and you've got whether you're using the optical flow sensor or not. So all in all, this is quite feature packed and I'm really looking forward to seeing this more as more Ishin drones come out. Okay, let's get back to the drone. So, so far, this is what we've looked at. The quadcopter and we've looked at the transmitter. Now let's put these two to one side and let's look at these accessory bags. So the accessory bags in themselves are quite fun. I quite like them. So you've got a screwdriver in one, you've got four propellers in the other, and then in this one, you have USB charger, and should you want to use them when controlling this drone with a smartphone, you've got, oh, come on. Ah, fiddly, there we go. You've got some smartphone analog stick stickers where you can stick them onto your phone, and then you can use this here as your analog stick instead of using your, your fingers directly so you get a little bit of, of tactile feedback. I don't like them, I don't use them, uh, but I'm sure some people would like them, so it's very worthwhile mentioning them. Um, and if you do like them, then let me know, because maybe that will give me more of an incentive to try them again. So there we go, so there's those inside there as well. So there's the three accessory packs. Okay, let's see everything together. So we've got the transmitter, we've got the drone, and of course we've got the manual. Now it's very important to say, 
that the manual will take you through a lot of different things from calibration to the new eSheen Fly app including your QR codes. The, if you're after the English part it's directly in the front and there's about six pages. It takes you into quite a bit of information uh, and actually it's actually worthwhile reading as well. Uh, and then if you want other languages they are towards the back of the manual as well. All in all this package is absolutely fantastic. If you want to find out any more the description is going to have all the links in it so you can find out more about this particular product. Um, and there we are folks. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time my friends. Happy flying.